Today, TT685C by Godox. We are reviewing it right now. Today we got the TT 685 by Godox, the new speed light by Godox with the built-in 2.4 gigahertz receiver system to go with the X1 trigger system. Full ETTL2, high speed sync. What else we got here? Uh, guide number 60, master and slave flash. Let's open this up. And again, use a manual. Whoops. False alarm. All right, nice, nice little pouch. And let's see what comes in the pouch. A little footy for the speed light. Let's use this. All right, there it is. 685 by Godox. Insane build quality. Really liking this. Different style door, it hinges to the front. Really nice spring hinge. All right, let's put the batteries in this thing as soon as we uh, all right, let's put the batteries in this. Down, up, and down. Okay, first off, I like the door. The door is a lot better built um, than previous models. I like the side hinge that it has to it. Um, very springy. Locks in nice and tight. All right. Power this sucker on. Nice backlit green LCD display. Pretty good. Now let's uh, switch this over. ETTL, let's go to a different mode. Nice green backlit LCD display. Good turn knobs, I like this. Very nice. On and off switch feels very solid. Doesn't take long, charge up. Definitely like the overall buttons. All the buttons feel pretty nice and solid. I'm switching a bunch of stuff on it, my bad. The overall head, whoa, 360 degrees, there you go. And it feels solid too. That's, that's one thing I like about this is, it doesn't feel like a cheap plastic device. It feels feels right up with its competitors. Flash bounce card. Um, let's see. Nice big entrance. High speed sync. It's got the built in 2.4 gigahertz uh, receiver. Um, again, just like the uh, Godox X1 trigger system and it still has the side port for the old uh, 433 megahertz system on the older models so compatibility micro USB slot for the firmware updates and then the PCI sync cord um, sorry the sync cord um, headphone jack that side and then on the front it has for external power packs Right on the front, it goes down. So if you have the uh, power pack like the AD360 comes with, you can plug that right into there. Right on the front. Overall build quality is very nice, very solid. Um, right out of the box, 
Uh, guide number is 60. Uh, master and slave mode, uh, multi, 360 degree head, and a zoom of 200 to from 20 to 200 millimeters. So that's pretty nice. It gets good reach on that. Um, the other thing that I did notice it does have a sleep mode to it. Okay. Um, manual zoom. All your menu buttons right down here feel nice, kind of like a silicone button feel. Um, the dialing system, you can feel the clicks. They're nice and strong. Definitely like it. Manual mode. All the way down to 128th power. And let's see what it says in increments. All the way to 1 to 1. Two. So about 2.5 second recycle time for each full power pop of flash, which is really nice. Let's go down to a quarter. Almost half a second, a quarter, eighth, no recycle time. Oh, correction. So every fourth burst, it's a little bit of a half a second recycle time, sixteenth, about five or six, thirty second. Yeah, this is uh, pretty much at that kind of power. I, I would almost think any flash could do that, but that is impressive right there. Um, again, overall, nice big, a bigger uh, display screen than uh, previous models. I like the green backlit. It's a lot more, um, it changes from either the green. Um, I just could have sworn I noticed the... Uh, it was red or orange a minute ago. And then for master mode, you have all your channels, A, uh, your group, sorry, A, B, and C, so they can communicate with the other speed lights, um, which is nice. So it's, it's, again, it could be its own um, transmitter unit to communicate with the other uh, 685s um, and et cetera. Um, pretty much almost anything with the 2.4 gigahertz system, it talks to each other. So that's everything from the TT600s, uh, the, even the V860 version 2s that just released. Um, but overall, this is a really nice quality build. Um, and there we go, back to ETTL. Um, really impressed with, as always, with other Godox equipment. Uh, I think they're always very innovative with different things all the way from their V860 series to their AD360s. Um, definitely something to look forward to in the future uh, of more compatibility of wireless and less stuff to strap on devices compared to the other stuff. Uh, we'll be doing a full hands-on shooting um, testing of this. We'll run it through the mill, the high-speed sync, everything. Um, so Keep your eyes out for that, and like always, like, subscribe. Links down below where you can actually get a hold of one of these and Godox's website, and uh, these are readily available already on Amazon, and you can see the other upcoming equipment that Godox is already uh, working on and releasing now that the V860 version 2 is out, which we will also be doing a unboxing and a review uh, in the field review test on that also. So again, hope you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, uh, don't like the thumbs down, but honesty is key, so give it a thumbs down if you didn't like this. Uh, leave your comments below. Uh, I will definitely respond back to each and every one of the comments. Uh, if I miss something that you are really interested in, besides the basic stuff, I will definitely comment. But anyways, Charlie Brown with Charlie Brown Photography. Hope you enjoyed this review and unboxing.